When you look back at the Sean O'Malley uh, from the Contender Series and, and what you've been able to accomplish in a very short period of time, I mean, do you ever, do you feel like you're the same guy? I mean, do you, do you ever, do you ever get sick of hearing Snoop Dogg scream, O'Malley, <laughs> O'Malley? Snoop's I don't a, get sick of that. No, Snoop's <laughs> a legend amongst legends, so no, not at all. It, 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 the way my career's played out up until this point has is, is, is been amazing, and, and it, I'm, I'm just going with the flow. Now, every fight's a big opportunity. Now, this one, obviously, a guy like Thomas Almeida is a guy who's been in that spotlight before, um, and obviously you're in the spotlight as well. So uh, what, what do you think a win over Thomas Almeida does for your career? It depends how I win. Um, I go out there and win a, a decision. Doesn't doesn't say much. I go out there and put his lights out the way I put out Eddie's lights. Um, you know, I make a big statement. I'm, I'm up in that in that, that talk. Right now, I'm not in the mix. You know, the band's weight division's on fire, but I'm not really in that mix. I go out there and put Thomas's lights out. Uh, I'm in that mix. You know, all week, a lot has been made of you saying that you're still undefeated, and we're all up here guessing as to what the mentality is in that statement because you lost the last fight. So tell us what goes into that thought process. You know, I understand that it was... I understand that it was a, a freak thing that happened, but ultimately, you know, you didn't win the fight. So, like, what do you, what do you, what goes into that thought process? Yeah. Um, like, like you said, it was a freak thing. How many times has that happened since, since that? Mm -hmm. How many leg kicks have been landed since that, that fight? Yeah. And how many times has it caused someone to have dropped? How many times has it hit, hit that nerve? It wasn't a calf kick that put me down. His toe hit my nerve. Um, how many times has it happened in the last 10 years? I know it happened to Jamie Varner. Um, uh, Chandler, Michael Cejudo. Chandler, and Cejudo a little bit. Um, so, if that's not a freak accident, how many thousands of leg kicks have been landed? I don't know mm -hmm. what is. I you watched that fight. I was, I was piecing. You were winning him up. the fight. I was, I was piecing him up. So, so but Sean, did he get, he got lucky? I talked to the Sugar State Athletic Commission, and they mm -hmm. took it away. It's not even. <laughs> oh, okay. So. I like that. I like that. I, I like that, Sean. Okay, now I understand. My favorite athletic commission. Okay, so let me ask you this one. I remember the fight that you won. I called it. I can't remember the guy you beat, but you hurt your leg. I broke my foot. You broke your foot, right? Yeah. And then this. So is there, is there, is there an issue with some of the, with the leg? I mean, what, what's going on down there? Yeah, I, I mean we'll, we'll see. I know Tom. You know Tom's probably gonna come come out and try to kick my leg. So it, it'll it'll be good for uh, good for the fans to to see. We'll see. Um, and when I broke my foot against uh, Andre, Andre, it was uh, Andre Soccer Mom. Yes. Yeah, I threw a head kick and I landed. <laughs> and when I when I pushed off to throw a right hand, my my foot snapped and I had uh, I tore the Liz Frank or whatever. You know, pretty major surgery. Um, and that that took like two years to actually heal. So. Um, that was also kind of a freak accident. So maybe, you know, if I get kicked with another nerve kick, I might just be done. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. If I get kicked again this fight and my nerve and I go out, if I get kicked, it's different if it's a calf kick or, or whatever. But if I get kicked in that nerve again, then it may be, maybe it's not a freak accident. If Cheeto would have said, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to put my toe on his nerve and I'm going to cause him <laughs> drop foot. And that's how he won that fight. Or this, this whole thing wouldn't be, being, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mentally undefeated. If he would have called that shot, it's different. If I throw a spin and back kick to someone's head and land it, that's that's you know that's fair and square. But but a toe to the nerve, unless it happens again, we'll see. So tell me about training for this one. You, you bought a new place in Arizona. You got a big old garage there. I know the last year a lot of guys uh, have had to train at home as much as the gym. Are you splitting time between? You kind of built that up into a little mini gym for you, right? Yeah, it, it, with COVID, it's stressful, especially with po fights pulling out right now, this close to the uh, even fights like the day of pulling out. So, yeah, um, I, I was still training, sparring at the lab, you know, going to a couple different gyms. But, you know, just having my own ho uh, cage in my house has, has been nice for, for mid sessions, having some people come up and stuff like that. And th is that something you'll, you'll keep doing, you think, from, from here on out? Yeah, that cage, the son of a gun to put up, take down, so that thing ain't <laughs> going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> A a any any message for uh, for Thomas Almeida before we let you go? Sorry, brother. Sorry, he's going to Bellator probably after this. I, oh. If he loses this fight, he's, he's the, we'll see. So, probably sorry. All right, it's Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley. Thanks, man. Yep. I appreciate it.